Hello, in our previous video, we have uh, implemented uh, our method to add a node to the tail of our double linker list. In this video, we implement two methods. Uh, the first one is uh, a method to, those two methods are a method to print the whole, the whole list, and a method to search for a node based on an info stored in it. Uh, so let's uh, directly dive into those two implementations. Let's start from uh, implementing a method which can print the whole list. So let's uh, okay while implementing for a node temp uh, starting from this dot head. Uh, and this will continue temp not equals null until we reach the end of our list then temp will be temp dot next then uh, let's print our list then temp.info will print this the info of our node this will print the whole list okay then uh, when it came to the search when it came to the search for similar to for node start from temp which is this dot head it will start from this dot head until temp not equals null then we'll update temp temp dot next and uh, Yes, I'll update temp then uh, if temp dot info equals info then we'll turn through here true otherwise we'll turn false then here our function return tree if the node exists return true if the node exists return false if the node doesn't exist Okay, so those are our two methods to search and display our list. Okay, here while testing, let's test this print list method and testing search method. Okay, now let's uh, print our list. Okay. Then uh, let's is a node with info tool in the list. Okay, list dot search tool okay system similar to that let's search for another uh, node already existing node 
it a node with info of this is info of uh, info of nine in the list list dot search nine okay let's uh, compile those okay this was our list if is a node is info of your is false is a node is info of nine then printing our list is working searching for our node is working so we are in a good shape and we are done with those two functionalities and thank you for your attention have a good time